Right, we're here in Flint, Michigan at the Starlight Diner. The place has been in business since 1966 and they serve up a mean Coney dog. Let's check it out. My name is Coaster Popoff, business name Starlight Coney Island. Been in business since 1966. It was started by my father, Alex Popoff. Uh, City of Flint, Tennessee County is basically known for Coney Islands. You know, no, it's just, it, it's a simple product, but it still requires uh, an art to it. There's just, it's not, you know, just because it says Coney Island, you know, on the menu, there is an art to make in that whole Coney. I mean, it, it's it's a lengthy process. It has to be a process throughout the day where you have to basically nurture the meat throughout the day and make sure it looks good, it's right, it's hot enough. Same with the hot dogs, same with the buns. So, you know, if you're missing one of the ingredients, then uh, your product's just gonna be marginal, you know? And that's why you have to, you have to really focus on uh, detail. There, real, there really is an art to uh, making a hot dog. There are regional different, there's regional tastes as far as Coney sauce. Yeah. I mean, like in Detroit, you go south of here, then it's more of a soupy sauce, like an A&W sauce. Flint's more a dry sauce and almost like a loose, a real fine, loose right. meat that's kind of ground up and beaten, and, and it's not greasy compared to other sauces. Okay. And obviously, it, for the Flint style cone, you got to sell a lot of conies every day to make sure the sauce is good because it's a product that's actually there is an art to it. Yeah. You have to make sure the sauce stays hot so it doesn't, uh, so the grease does not penetrate the meat and stay inside the meat. Yeah. And if it does that, the sauce ends up tasting really greasy and bad. Yeah. You want to have a little bit of grease, but you got to have that fresh grease taste. Right, right. So you got the hot dogs, which are Kogel's, been around I don't know how many years, but you know, I mean, Kogel's is famous in this area. Sure. So you got to make sure the hot dog's extremely hot. You got to make sure the sauce is extremely hot, and then you got to have a steam bun. So you do have to put the three together to make sure your product works. If you don't have all three put together, then you know, you really got a marginal product. So you're focused on quality. Yeah, and, and there is detail, yeah. There is detail involved in the whole execution of making a coney. It seems easy, but it's really not. The sauce, we make sauce about five to six times a day. Oh, wow. How many uh, gallons or pounds of sauce do you go through in a typical day? Uh, a typical day is about 150 pounds of coney sauce. Wow, that's a lot of sauce. The bulk of it's uh, beef hearts, and he does cure his meat. And the rest, it comes in raw, and then we spice it up and, you know, basically cook it ourselves. But the art is both. It's, you have to get, you get the product from Abbott's Meat, which has been their house recipe for years, but then you have to know how to handle the product once it comes in your house. You can have a coney here, and then you can go to the other side of town and have a coney, and I can tell you that, there's gonna be, it's gonna be drastically different just because the amount of hot dogs we sell and the way we watch the sauce throughout the day. Picture me serving one up? Huh? Can you picture me serving one up? Sure. I've been, I've been here, I've been since here with Ghost since 2005. Okay, you like it? Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah? Yeah. All right. They couldn't get rid of it, they tried. Do you like Coney dogs? Love them. I yeah. worked for these guys 16 years. Yeah? Yep, wouldn't work for nobody else. I think we'll have three working man specials. Starlight cheeseburger, Coney dog, fries, and a Coke. Deluxe everything and everything on the Coney? Yes. Got it, see her. Our hot dogs are total best only Coney's in town. Um, I come here every, once a week, every Wednesday, meet my father for lunch, and it's the best place to get a burger and Coney and a fry and Flint and the best prices. Who's got the best Coney's in town? Starlight. Okay. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> the best burgers or fries. I get the pork mortar sandwich. It's really good. I mean, we just serve, we serve a lot of people, but we basically focus on quality and customer service, really. I've been coming here um, for probably around 19, 20 years, and I uh, found it when I met someone across the street, and I haven't stopped coming here since. The food is great, always. Never had a bad meal here. All right. Enjoy, honey. Thank you. Time to chow down. Coney Dogs in Flint, Michigan. Excellent. The apple don't fall far from the tree, does it? Come on down to the Starlight Diner in Flint, Michigan. I guess I'm a working man now. That's the hot dog.
dog man, that guy.